we got to go into the yellow delf and we got to talk about the popo union you know they've been uh, under a lot of fire lately so the philadelphia lodge of the fop filed a lawsuit seeking to invalidate city law banning officers from pulling over drivers for low-level offenses saying the law illegally preempts existing state laws on traffic violations so this lawsuit was uh, filed in common police court this past week and uh, several of the union leaders uh, as uh, individual citizens of Philadelphia also argued that the First Class City Home Rule Act prevents Philly from creating a law counter to those already in place throughout the rest of the state. Now, these laws are going to be eliminated as of March 3rd. So, and I'm trying to look here. It so says city officials had initially said enforcement would begin this past uh, Thursday. The law will prohibit officers from pulling over vehicles solely for a handful of traffic offenses deemed secondary violations, such as improperly displaced registration or inspection stickers and single broken taillights. Oh, hell, are we going back to this? <laughs> no, they're, they're eliminating it. They're eliminating that. So that's why, that's why FOP is up in arms. They don't want to get rid of that. So right. there's a lot of critics that say that the practice has led to black and Latino motorists being unfairly stopped and searched at disproportionately high rates and sometimes being detained for small infractions. Defender Association of Philadelphia projected that the enforcement change could mean as many as 300,000 fewer police encounters a year. So, GPS, you are our uh, traffic correspondent for, the, uh, for basically the United States of America. God bless America. What... It, it, do you think this is going to be beneficial for people of color? Yes. Because if you think about it, think about it like this. How many times have you been stopped by the side of the road with a flat tire? Uh, let me look at my hands first. Uh, none. Sorry. Okay. How many times have you seen somebody broke down by the side of the road with a flat tire? Uh, while I'm going 85? Uh, probably none. Now, think about how many times you saw a cop stop and try to help somebody like that oh is that like Haley's comet only seen once every 76 that's years? it okay. it often doesn't happen unless it's in a very busy something's really going on and they need some help you know mm -hmm. so they'll pull up behind them throw the lights on right more people but generally he's not gonna stop and come out and help you You're changing that tire okay well keep on going ahead changing that tire mm -hmm. but to start pulling over people just because they have a tail light out now I want to search a car. Now it's this, that, and the third. And they may not have done anything at all. Right. Now, mm -hmm. I ain't saying that, you know, if you pull him over and he rolls down the window and, you know, you damn near got a contact when he, you know, rolls down the window. Okay, yeah, fine. You may want to search that one a little further. But, you know, you're pulling up some old little old lady and, you know, you're trying to find out if she got warrants in 40 outside countries. No, right. no. Well, I, I say this, Mr. Cortez, uh, Mr. Uh, McNesby, who is the president of FOP Lodge 5, he said this isn't a black issue. This isn't a brown issue, it, a white issue or an Asian issue or a Hispanic issue. Aren't you saying the same thing twice? OK, anyway, this is a city issue, a community issue and a safety issue. Officers do not go out and say, I'm going to stop seven Hispanic people today. But yet we were the first ones you thought of in your head. Thank you. They stop people who are not obeying the state's motor vehicle code. So the issue would be solved if people drove cars that are legal and drove them safely. Do you think his commentaries are legit or is it more of an underlining, maybe systemic racial issue that's really being involved? I, I feel like dancing with Marshall now. Uh, but go ahead. I, I, think, I think either or. The reason why I think either or is a simple fact, you know, there is a lot of craziness up in Philly right now, so the block is and, unfor and unfortunately, I feel bad for law enforcement because they're, they're, they're working overtime. I mean, man, you got, you know, and they then on top of that, they got fear for their own personal safety, and sometimes that little tail light stop <laughs> may be their first or last time that they might be able to go home and see their family. So, I mean, is it, I, I really don't know what the solution may be. But I, I feel as though something has to give, you know, you can't keep, you can't keep profiling. I do feel as though sometimes these cops do racially profile, you know, that is true. That is true. 
and they racially profile like that you know it start it becomes a problem especially when it's not when they're not trained to deal with with people of different diversities that's when i think i think the problem is it, it really stems it's just them not being educated enough or not wanting to be educated about the situations mm-hmm. that's very true marcia uh, now obviously being in southern maryland it's a little bit of a different animal down here but has there been instances that you have seen or witnessed that kind of like mirrors what's been going on in philly um not particularly um i think because of where we live at but i agree with cortez philly i i fear for the police philly with the carjackings and all that other stuff i I would stop everybody. I'm just saying because there's just so many issues, and I feel bad that I have to say that. Right. But with the with the the way things are going up there, I'd be suspicious of everybody. I'm not even coming to Philly because y'all crazy. Oh, wow. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, what is this, y'all? What's this? I mean, not you, thing? not you. you but all. you know, like, didn't they? You uh, say y'all? You talking about <laughs> Philly? You talking about the whole entire city? Yeah, you, you know. You talking a well, whole culture, Marsha? coming on. Wasn't there a congresswoman or a senator or something? They stole her car a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Oh. I mean, oh yeah, that yeah. Was from Delaware County. Yep, she should have yeah. had security with her. She should have had security with her. Uh. <laughs> oh, see, see, that that's the kind of stuff I'm like. Wow, that, this craziness, and and I, I you can't you, you want to feel safe driving down the street. True, and you can't even do that. So if I I, I don't know, I'm a little torn on this one because of the recent event. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna be honest. Take care of your vehicle first so then you don't get stopped. You want to stay under radar. We always want to stay under radar in life. We don't want to ha- cause any commotion. We don't want a blip to come up for them people to, to people to give us attention. Right, GPS? This is correct. Okay. 